Hello and welcome to MarathonJourney.com and my marathon journey toward a new smile using SmileLove.com. It is February the 21st today. It's been quite a while since I gave you an update. Why? Because I've been waiting for something to happen. Something did happen, but uh, it's not a whole lot, at least not what I was hoping for. Let me go over a few things here. As of today, it's been 132 days since I informed Smile Love that the treatment plan wasn't working. You know the story about that. Wait till it's wait till your treatment plan's done and things will work out, right? It's been 94 days since my upper arch of teeth was finished with the treatment plan and I have been wearing an ill-fitting retainer. 94 days of wearing an ill-fitting retainer that is now broken in several places. Why? Because retainers aren't made to move teeth. Retainers are made to simply hold your teeth in place and they're basically made to wear overnight, not 24 hours a day. Not 24 hours a day on teeth that they weren't made for. The retainer wasn't made to have this gap, this overlap, this front tooth sticking out like this. And so it reformed itself. And when it did, it of course cracked out the bottom of these and it cracked out in another place. So I have a broken ill-fitting retainer now. And uh, since I'm waiting, I'm kind of in this limbo, waiting for a new treatment plan. I can't change, re I can't change trays for the bottom. So I've been sitting on the same tray in the bottom, which now has broken through where these teeth are kind of sharp on the top. And so it's broken too. So I have two broken trays that I'm wearing and uh, that's just exciting. Uh, as you know, on December 31st, uh, they finally agreed that, oh, <laughs> guess you caught us on a technicality. You uh, have it in writing that uh, we have to give you refinements for free, so uh, here come your impression kits. <clears throat> well, those impression kits came, and on January the 7th, uh, I had an okay on the impressions, both on video chat and by submitting photos, that they were great and fabulous and they were mailed off via priority mail and on January 9th those impressions arrived at Smile Love's office. That was 43 days ago. Well since I kind of know what's going on with the program and the instructions with the impression kit say that you need to submit your photos with the mouth holy open thingy and uh, lip spreader and uh, give those upper, lower, underneath, left side, right side, bite, all those photos. I submitted those photos on January the 6th. So I see January 9th rolls around and the impressions make it to the uh, office. Hear nothing. I send a request for Hey, I need an update uh, on the previews. Nothing. I send another email. I send six email requests for an update for information before, finally, on February the 19th, I get an answer. Now, I can see maybe missing an email and the second one going, ooh, somebody better do something about this. Six emails before I got a response. Totally unacceptable customer service. And what's the response that I got? Well, the response that I got was, well, since I didn't provide photos until January 30th, the previews technically aren't late, So, but we'll check on it. Well, what happened was on January the 6th, I sent over all the photos that they needed. And 
on January the 30th, I got an email that said, oh, by the way, you need to fill out a, a new uh, medical questionnaire and submit new photos. I already submitted new photos. And why do I need to submit a new medical questionnaire? I'm not a new patient. I am a continuing patient. That would be like going to the doctor and having him set your arm and it didn't come out right. And he says, well, we're going to have to work on that. So you're going to have to fill out all new paperwork and uh, tell us all. No, I'm, I'm a continuous patient. What that tells me is that they're not equipped to do any kind of follow-up. They're equipped to go through and say, do this, do this, do this, do this, boom, here's your trace. And we're done with you. Next. And when anything changes in that formula, it just totally mucks up the works and they have to say, well, we've got to start over. Well, you didn't. And besides, I had already submitted those pictures on January the 6th. So don't tell me on January the 30th that you need more pictures. Well, anyways, January 30th, I submitted those pictures. And guess what? According to your own website, it says in print that, quote, previews are delivered to you electronically and viewed on your own device two weeks after we perform a scan or receive your kit back. Two weeks. 30 days have September, April, June, and November. All the rest have 31. They received my kit, my impressions, 43 days ago. That's a lot more than 14. And even if they lost my photos and said, oh, we have to have the new photos, so you got to start over on January the 30th. It's 23 days. That's more than three weeks. Two weeks is what your website says in writing. You're late. No apologies, no sorry, whatever. Uh, yeah, we'll look into it, but you know, uh, it's no. Really? Here's where we are. I'm still waiting for a set of electronic previews to authorize or okay the treatment plan. Ah, I'm, I'm dumbfounded. I have been, I'm, it's, it's amazing. The lack of customer service now with this company has just, is, ah, it's insane. And yes, Smile Love did change their company promise and return policy. And it now states in writing, and you have to go to the refund page to find this, that says, in the unlikely scenario that you are unhappy with the results of your completed treatment, and you have complied with all the aligner wear and care instructions, we are happy to work with you to determine a way to make you satisfied or for you to receive a prorated refund based on a comparison of the original treatment preview and your actual result. So they'll work with me to try to get me satisfied or they'll give me a prorated refund and who gets to determine, well, that's a 10% difference. That's a 5% difference. And we'll just refund you that prorated amount. How does that help you? How does that help you? You came here to get straight teeth. And if your teeth aren't straight at the beginning and they aren't straight at the end, what is the prorate? The prorate is my teeth are not straight. I didn't come to you because six out of 12 teeth on this arch or whatever weren't straight. I didn't come to you because three out of the six that sit together aren't straight. I came to you because my teeth or tooth are not straight. 
fix it. So how do you prorate? Well, some of them are straight and the other ones aren't. It, they are either straight or they're not. Period. End of story. To me, that means 100% refund or they worked. I'm sure they don't see it that way. I'm sure some attorney wrote this up and they say, well, it's only 10% off, so we'll give you, what, 140 bucks back. Have a nice day. And then you have to go to another company to have them done at full price because they don't say, well, pro, we'll prorate uh, your treatment plan because only you, you only have like 10% of your teeth messed up, so we'll only charge you 10%. No, they charge you 100%. It works or it doesn't. But it goes on. The last sentence of that paragraph is, you may also request a refinement. Well, that's what I would have done right off the bat. That's what everybody else promises that they'll give you. If you're not satisfied, we'll give you refinements until you are. For a charge of $200. They put it in writing, folks. If it doesn't work the first time, they'll either prorate you and give you a prorated refund and wave bye-bye. Or you can say, um, I want a refinement. And they'll say, that'll be $200, please. 200 more dollars. Sorry it didn't work. Sorry we were ineffective. Give me 200 more dollars. And we'll move those teeth where they should have been moved in the first place. Not happy to see that. I know that you need to have protections and things to keep wacky people from going through and getting straight teeth and then saying, well, uh, they're straight, but you know, my, this one's cracked or this one's whatever. The stuff beyond the control of or beyond what is normal, I can see that. I can, yeah. You don't guarantee my teeth will be white. You don't guarantee that the bottoms of all my teeth will match up. Uh, you don't guarantee that the bite is going to be exact. You don't. There's a lot of things that you can't guarantee. But when you send me those previews and say, this is what your teeth look like now, and this is what your teeth are going to look like, they darn well better look like that when it's done. You don't wear braces and then get your braces off at the end and say, have them say, huh, well, it didn't quite work. Yeah, we'll give you 150 bucks back for your troubles. No, <laughs> no. It works or it doesn't. Now, if you bail on it and say, you know what, I, I can't do, I, I'm not going to do any more trays. This is whatever. And you won't, you want to get a whatever percent refund, a prorated refund. Good on you and say goodbye. Close enough for government, close enough for government work. I'm done with it. Okay. But when I say, I expect you to give me what you promised to give me, guess what? I expect you to give me what you promised to give me. Where am I now? I'm waiting for those previews. Still waiting. Wearing broken trays. Waiting for those previews because I can't change trays because I sent them my impressions. I can't move these teeth any. They need to stay exactly where they were when I sent them my impressions. Which is why when you send in impressions, if you have a company that deals with people and straightening their teeth, you need to work very quickly so that those teeth are exactly where they are when you send out those trays as they were when they took the impressions. That's why you work fast between the impression time or scan time and delivering the trays because those teeth need to be in the same place so that first tray is where you expect it to be. Of course, I'm not telling you if you have a company like that or if you're a dentist or an orthodontist, something you don't already know. That's just common sense. But I'm still waiting, folks. I'm still hoping. I'm holding out hope that this will come to a good resolution and that my teeth will be straight. My bottom teeth were on the way to uh, being spectacular. And of course, they're on hold now. Tray 18 of 25. So I'm 14 weeks behind the curve right now for having these teeth move. They should have been done. Should have all been done a long time ago. Should have been finished. 
But here we sit. I'll let you know how things turn out. I'm hoping for the best. I have always been hoping for the best. Keep smiling. Take care of those teeth. Uh, whatever you do, get it in writing. Make sure that uh, you hold any company that you give your money to accountable to give you what they said that they were going to give you. In the meantime, we're trying to stay positive. <sighs> Sometimes it's just trying. We'll talk to you a little bit later.